Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a paper cutout or sticker effect in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you frequently import graphics into Doodly, adding a sticker effect is a great way to add some extra flair to your videos and make them more interesting. As you'll see here, this character has a white outline and a shadow underneath her. So it looks like she's a sticker and it does give some dimension to the video. I'll walk you through the steps step by step using Pixelmator Pro as the example. You can also use other graphics editors like Photoshop if you'd like. I really like the way these images look, but you do need to do a few things. You'll see I found this graphic on Pixabay and it is transparent already. So that's important. You want to have a transparent background. I searched here just for characters and I found a couple that I like. So you'll see I'm back here in Pixelmator Pro and I have two new graphics that I'm working with. I have the little fox and the mermaid. Both of them have transparent backgrounds and neither of them have a white outline or a shadow. So how do we add those elements? Well, you go over here to this little paint tool and what you want to do is you want to add a stroke. So here's the stroke and by default it's black. I am going to change that to white. If you prefer the black, that's perfectly fine. And then I want to make it nice and fat. Maybe something like that. And then shadow. All I'm going to do is turn on the shadow. And you'll see a shadow appears. It's pretty faint right now. So I'm going to increase the distance. You can see it can do yeah. that. And then I'm going to also increase the blur. Maybe something like that. I can also change its position by rotating it. And I think that will be cute. So I'm going to go ahead and export that graphic. I want to make sure to export it as either a PNG or an SVG because that's going to preserve the transparency. Let's also do the same for the fox. So I just go here, I turn on my stroke, I change its color to white, and then I make it nice and fat. Maybe something like that and then I turn on my shadow and I increase its distance I increase its blur make it a little bit fuzzier and then I'm going to put the rotation kind of similar like so if I look over here see how it's getting cut off here in this corner I'm just going to shrink my fox down a little bit and make sure nothing's getting cut off and that should be okay and we'll go ahead and export that. I'll go back to my mermaid real quick because these little tips are getting cut off so I want to do that same thing to fix that and that should be fine. I'm going to re-export my mermaid. Okay so let's go back into doodly here and we go to props. You could also do it in characters if you'd like because these are characters. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click the blue plus sign and I'm gonna take my two sticker files, drag them over, and we can add them to our scene if we'd like. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to use editing software to create a sticker effect for Doodly. Thanks for watching.